one. Here. No, not fucking cool. Get your toy. Nope, get your toy. Good girl. But nobody sees me doing what I'm doing or cares. Sit and get your toy. Uh-uh, come here. Get your toy. Satan, come here. on my radiator hose should hold for now. I'm here in Ana Cortez today. I'm going to take advantage of the next few days of uh, decent weather here. And I got offered some work back down in southern Oregon. So after a few days of uh, taking advantage of the weather and using the boat, I'm going to just fly back down there real quick and pick up that work. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Got water. Always bring water. These are all the San Juan Islands. Oh shit, I think we got dolphins over here, or a seal. Oh, that looks like a seal. That's Cypress Island. I hear there's good hiking over there. Well, I was going to go to the shore of Cypress Island here, um, 
Then I realized that the current is actually taking me pretty quick that way. So I'm just gonna paddle back over that way before I get swept really far from where I ended up. My spot where I came from, it's way the fuck over there. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna just get the lead out here and fuck off before I get carried further that way. This is, uh, that's, that's a little bit far. And as I speak, I'm getting carried further. So I'm gonna get, get fucking. Okay, I think I'm out of that current. Whew! That was a little sketch there for a sec. Wouldn't be so sketch if I didn't have a dog in the car at the fucking beach. And if I had my gear, I'd be fucking set out here. And fucking live on these islands forever. Oh shit. Nope, not a whale. So today I got the Ana Cortez area under my belt, or I'm about to. I don't want to speak too soon. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do something off of Whidbey Island and then catch the ferry back to Port Townsend in the afternoon. You know, that current carried me pretty far. If I had just let it, it would have dragged me past. Oh, it's still kind of pulling at me. Damn. Well. Keep moving, I guess. I mean, I'm making headway at least. Good workout though. There's the whale cruise. <clears throat> yeah, I really got carried off course here. Jesus. Good thing I'm young and full of energy. Holy shit. I don't know if it's legal to be climbing around on these, but uh, my arms feel like fucking jelly and I still got like another bend to go around here. I guess I could go on the shore, but that's a little less fun than this. I think I'm gonna take a piss off of it. If we can do this safely. And I gotta tie the boat up. Cause there's no fucking way in hell that I'm gonna get fucking stranded out here. Hell the fuck no. <laughs> hell the fuck no. Well, I wouldn't get stranded. I would just have to swim back to the shore there and then walk back to the car. That, uh, that buoy there was, I was like pretty much facing directly at it between the shore that I was at and Cypress Island.
Seagulls talking shit. Government property. Where shall steal or willfully cause damage to yours? Government property is subject. Okay. Doesn't say no trespassing though. Just says don't fuck it up. Okay, time to pee. Oh, this is pretty great. Shut up, seagull. Fuck you. You can hang out here all day long. Just... I don't even think they want you up here, fuckhead. Oops. You can fucking holler at me all you want. I'll fucking eat you, bitch. Yeah, come get some. <gasps> hey, seal. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Wanna come say hi? Oh, damn, I really wish I brought some weed to smoke up here. Oh well, next time. Now for the scary part. Okay. Ow. Remember kids, always have three points of contact. One, two, three, three. <sighs> Fucking beautiful. Of course, there's somebody gonna be making a wake right when I'm trying to get back in my boat. Oops, come on. Uh uh, get over here. Alright. There we go. Alright. Bada boom, bitch. Woo! Of course. Of fucking course. Come on, get out, bitch. Alright. Alright. Bye. All the way. That's awesome. You fit in there perfect. <laughs> you can get strapped in. Okay. That's cute, pup. Good girl. You just gotta stay there now. And if you hate it, then we'll come back to shore. And then I'll go on my own. But first I gotta take a picture. Because you're so cute. Yeah, first time. We're trying it out. What? <laughs> Doing all right, baby? Oh, you're so cute. Nope, you kick it. Kick it down. Go ahead. Come on. Kick it down, baby. Nope, kick it. Hey, Satan, kick it down. You're gonna get wet. That's just how it is. another ferry ride. This time we got here a little early so we got almost front row. I was hoping to get front front but that's alright. 
Oh, there's a guy taking a picture of my car. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? Thanks. <laughs> the head. Hey, pup. Today I'm on Discovery Bay, and well, I guess I'm just gonna paddle around and see what I can see. Time to get back to my dog. Maybe hit up a second bay today so I don't lose too much daylight. Satan, go potty. Where's your nummies? <gasps> Is it time? What's <laughs> up, yarding? Mm. <laughs> you chilly? Yeah. Got a nice wool blanket in my tent. <laughs> oh man. That's what I'm like. Oh, I just guess I like worms. <laughs> yeah, I can dig that. I'm not like... I'm probably been going on for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that first sound when I pour the water in. Mm. Ooh. My brain is like conditioned to release dopamine when I hear that sound. <laughs> It's like, oh god, yes, there it is. That's a nice campsite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made an unintentional dad joke last, last evening. I was like cooking some some grilled cheese and was like adding something and Shana was like oh you should add this and it, sh it should be good and I'm like yeah I'll we'll see how it pans out because uh, <laughs> it's pan cooking 
That's super cheesy. So dumb. <laughs> I paid 200 bucks for this whip, so I'm gonna drive it to the east coast. Really? Yep, west coast to east coast. That's cool. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Is that right? 525 gallons? Oh god, yeah. Okay. Yep, but you know, where else are you gonna get gas? Yeah. Yeah. where I can camp 
here in back ass Idaho. So let's hope I don't get fucked with by any weird rednecks or cops or what have you. But this is seems like dispersed camping, so I'm just gonna camp here. It's too dark for me to drive any further and I've already been driving in the dark more than I should have with my light situation. Satan, come here. But yeah, I'm fucking tired. So I'm gonna set up my tent and see how it goes. just did the mileage math on King Ratchet and I'm getting about 38 miles to the gallon which is fucking crazy especially like you know since I've, I've always driven conversion vans and a bus which pretty much get 10 miles to the gallon this is fucking awesome like I can go far if if the king holds out but it's running fine you're doing great king ratchet you're a fucking baller i camped out near uh, a little town not far from billings last night in montana it was very nice did a live stream it was awesome to touch base with my supporters now i'm pretty close to Bismarck and I just saw a sign that said that there's statues out in the, I mean I'm surrounded by cornfields so uh, I kind of have a thing for weird statues and so I'm gonna go see what what the heck's up with these things because um, I'm, I'm curious and I'm making really good time I don't really need to be in Minnesota until tomorrow evening I don't even, I don't need to be in Minnesota by then either, but I want to be. I'm going to visit a friend in Alexandria. Hysham, Montana's hidden treasure. Yeah. Okay. This is like, I think I'm pretty close to the edge of Montana here. Bismarck is like another 300 some miles ahead. Signs for statues and a museum, and all I found was this old dead town. Hey, Satan, come on. Look at this fucking place. It's all a bunch of bandos. I mean, there's cars and stuff over there. There's there's a gas station down the road, but look at this. Satan, uh-uh. Nope. You're going back in the car. You're starting to piss me. Oh, you. Load up. Now. Load up. Don't be trying to get into stuff. You kick it, okay? I'm just gonna poke around.
can't when I found the museum. But looks pretty closed. That's a shame. Whoa. Damn. Yeah, too bad. Looks interesting. This place looks closed too. Oh yeah, that's hella closed. Wow. Is this one open? Huh. Doesn't even look like it's an establishment. Maybe somebody lives in it. <laughs> Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Welcome. So weird. This one's closed too. What a place. The snake hides his belly. It makes perfect sense. It's a natural self defense. It's our natural 100%. It doesn't deviate. So when you're hiding something, you can lose all respect. Got something you need to protect. You're gonna do it, do it in normal town, normal town, normal town, do it in normal town. The lawns are a mixed bag, it's just everyday folk. Every day is different You're gonna do it Do it in normal town Normal town, normal town Do it in normal town You're gonna do it Do it in Come on, let's go. Sorry to interrupt. I spent a couple of days in Minneapolis visiting with friends. I didn't really, I didn't record any of it because, you know, I wanted to focus on hanging out with old friends and family. I was there for like five days and um, now I'm in Duluth. I was wanting to take like um a uh, tour around Minneapolis and take a bunch of pictures of different um, 
different memorials like George Floyd Square obviously and some other ones but I started to get um, feel the weight of just timing and feeling like I really just needed to keep moving so yeah now I'm up in Duluth I the sun went down pretty quick and I didn't have time to find like a campground so I found this empty industrial lot it's like liminal as hell it's right on the water and I can see a deck over that way to like a super fancy high-end restaurant which is kind of funny because here I am sitting in this you know um old industrial stuff and they're over there paying like possibly like a hundred dollars for a meal it's a pretty nice spot though I'm just gonna set up the tent in the in the weeds back there I'm eating my leftover breakfast for dinner it's pretty good there's that fancy hotel and restaurant there and there's the city proper like the downtown Duluth area it's not a big crazy city it's small and it's spread out and there's a lot of weird liminal spaces like these which I like when I was younger I spent um, a good amount of time up here just living out of a backpack and camping out it's really easy like I could do that indefinitely out here and I'm sure with a little bit of poking around you could find some really cool spots like even just like look at this over here this that thing that's not a boat I thought that was a boat on the water it's a weird building but like you can't I tried to walk out to it but there it's like a dock oh, excuse me but it's like a dock and you can't get to it unless you come from inside the fence of this industrial complex which I'm not sure what it is I would guess that it might be a cement factory because this building over here was a cement factory but now it's a fancy hotel but yeah this is home for a night